Today, I'm unboxing a Shure SM57 microphone. In this video, I'm going to tell you my top five reasons why I think every studio should have at least one of these mics. Coming up. Hey guys, Lucas here with Blues You Can Use, sharing many years of guitar playing experience with you. On this channel, I do gear reviews, lessons, tutorials, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, please click the link and consider subscribing. Also, click the bell to get notifications when I upload new content. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks again for your su support. Without further ado, let's unbox the SM57. I picked this up at Long & McQuaid. Um, part of the reason I went with this mic, well, I'm going to talk about that in a minute, but I really wanted to get something that is well known, and this is certainly reason number one, is that this mic is an industry standard. Let's take a look at what we got here. User guide. Some stickers. More stuff I'll never read. And, oh, that's kind of cool. There it is. Actually, get the mic in a clip too. Here we go. SM57. And what else we got in here? We've got a bit of Velcro to deal with the mic cable and a padded carrying case, although there's not a lot of padding in there. So, let me talk to you guys about one of the reasons why um, I decided to pick up this particular mic. So, industry standard, that's the reason number one. The SM57 is really well known for miking guitar cabinets. That's obviously what I do here on this channel. And I wanted to make sure that I was giving my listeners a familiar reference tone. So that's number one. Number two, it's affordable. Uh, I think I paid 129 bucks for this thing, brand new at uh, Long & McQuaid. So it's a mic that, you know, it's not gonna break the bank but it gets the job done. The third reason I went with the 57 is durability. Um, I've got a 58 that is probably 30 years old. It's been spat on, dropped, kicked, <laughs> you name it, has had stuff done to it, and it still works like a charm. So I know I'm never gonna break this thing, and that's a good thing. Um, these mics are great live, too. These are um, a unidirectional uh, mic, and so, so what that means is they're really only gonna pick up the sound here at the front, right against the uh, against the cabinet and they're going to block out any signs so any other instruments that are, are on stage I don't really have to worry about that sort of bleeding through. Uh, so that's the reason number four. Reason number five, these amps, these mics are really versatile. It can be used for recording drums, it can be used for guitar, woodwinds, even vocals. In fact, the SM57 and the SM58 are exactly the same microphone. The only difference is the grill on the top of them. and. Um, I'll read you a little blurb actually from, from Shure's website in, with regard to that. The SM57 and 58, here we go, uh, share the same mic element, the Unidyne 3. The only difference between these two models is the grill design. The grill design does affect the high frequency response, particularly above 8,000 hertz. The FM57 uh, grill design allows more proximity effect because the mic diaphragm can be placed closer to the sound source. Um, and of course the proximity effect increases each time the distance from the mic to the source is halved. When a mic is placed very close, it's quite easy to have the distance. So from one inch to half an inch to a quarter inch and so on. Um, if you remove the ball grill from an SM58, it will be more similar to the 57 uh, in its low frequency response. So I thought that was kind of cool because I always thought, and I'm still learning, so uh, it's part of the reason why I'm here too, is to hopefully learn some things from from everybody, I'm sure I will. Uh, but I always thought that a 57 and a 58 were actually different. But it turns out, right from Shure's website, that you know that's not necessarily the case. Um, little teaser alert for you guys as well. Uh, I have another mic here that I'm going to be playing with, which is the uh, Sennheiser E609. I'm going to do an A B with these guys, and I'm going to have have, uh, have you guys tell me which one you think is which. I'm also going to be using my uh, my trainer guitar mate uh, 1977 for that and I'm loading it up with uh, some mullards to do that so it's going to sound great so stay tuned for the full review of that. So that brings me to my question of the day. What is your favorite mic 
for micing guitar cabinets. Um, do you use a room mic as well? If so, what do you like to use and, and, and what kind of things are you guys going for when you're micing your guitar cabinets? So again, thanks so much for watching the video. Please subscribe uh, and click the bell to get more notifications when I post content like this and stay tuned for the full review of this microphone because it's going to be coming up here hopefully within the week. Thanks again for watching and play on.